क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल बी सॉल्विंग एन इलस्ट्रेशन रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्शन यूनिट मेथड प्रॉब्लम विल हैव सर्टेन डिटेल्स मेंशनड इन दिस फॉलोइंग शीट एंड विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम लेट्स गो अहेड एंड फिगर इट आउट So as we know that production unit method basically refers to the similarity between the machine hour rate method as well as this method whereby where the machine hours were replaced by the production units that means how much unit is produced during one certain time is certainly the factor that is considered while calculating depreciation so we have the similar concept it's only that the hours have been replaced by the production units so this will be the consideration that will be done or that will be taken care of while solving any depreciation problem related to this specific method i'll be jotting down a problem here rather than illustration and we'll be trying to solve that illustration in depth so that you know as per how the solving pattern for this specific method is used and how it is similar to the machine hour rate method so let's figure it out So we have mentioned down a problem here. This problem describes about the pattern of production units, the scrap value, the cost, the total useful life of that specific asset, and according to that, we have to prepare certain additional details that has been mentioned in the problem. So let's go ahead with the details first, and then we'll understand how do we solve it with the three-step process that is timeline, working, and then the actual problem. It states that the machine was purchased for rupees two lakhs, which has been mentioned here. The useful life of that machine is ten years, which has been also mentioned here. The scrap value of that machine is twenty thousand. That means after its useful life, the expected amount that we can see or further realize at the end of its useful life is twenty thousand. expected production of units is 150000 that means we can produce on an average of 150000 units using this specific machine during its whole tenure now the pattern of that specific production has been mentioned below in the years format that means 1 2 3 4 to 6 and 7 to 10 for the first 3 years we have 20000 units per year For four to six years, we have fifteen thousand units per year. For seven to ten, we have ten thousand units per year. Now, according to this, we have figured out that there are certain details that we can use to calculate depreciation. In this additional detail, we have to calculate the book value of that specific machine as of the end of sixth year. So what we'll be starting further is that we'll be going ahead with the working note first. Rather, before that, we'll start with the timeline to understand all these details in pattern, and then we'll start with the working note. So let's figure it out. We have mentioned the important details here, like the cost of the asset to lakh rupees, scrap value twenty thousand, useful life of that asset, which is ten years, and the production capacity during the whole tenure, which is one lakh fifty thousand units. Now let's mention the pattern. That means the year pattern and the production as per every year segment.
So we have mentioned in a timeline what are the details that are required. That means the year segregation as well as the production as per that year category has been mentioned here. And the question states to the book value of that specific asset at the end of the sixth year. Now we'll start with the working. I hope this specific timeline gives you a lot of just about what is the question and what are the details that you have to capture in this. Let's start with the working and understand few more details on this. So the formula that we'll be using here is original cost minus scrap value, which is the depreciable amount rather, multiplied by production per year upon the total production of that specific machine. That means the total production capacity of that specific machine. So let's use it and figure out what is the depreciation per year for the year category 1 to 3. So as you can see, we have done the calculation for the first set of category years, that is year 1 to 3, whereby the original cost, that is 2 lakh minus scrap value 20,000, gives you a total of 1 lakh 80,000. Now this is multiplied by the production per year in that set, or rather that category, that is 1 to 3, which is 20,000 per year. So 20,000 divided by 1 lakh 50,000, which gives you a total of decimals into factors. Let's highlight it. That is 0 0.13333 rounded off total. And that if you multiply it by 1,80,000, that gives you a total of 23,999.99. If you round it off, it will be coming to or it will come to 24,000. So whenever this kind of depreciation is done, that means for year 1, 24,000, year 2, 24,000 and year 3, 24,000. This is depreciation that is to be subtracted for this specific machine out of this category. Similarly, we'll do the calculation for the next set of category. Let's do it. So if you can see, we have figured out the calculation for the second category that is from year 4 to year 6. Original cost 2 lakh, scrap value 20,000, which is multiplied by the production of that time that is 15,000 units per year divided by the total production that is 1 lakh 50,000 units. So you get a total of 1 lakh 80,000 multiplied by 0 0.1, which gives you a depreciation of 18,000 per year. So for fourth year 18,000, fifth year 18,000 and sixth year 18,000. That is the depreciation per year for this category. Now let's prepare the depreciation category or rather the depreciable amount or depreciation amount for the last category that is 7 to 10 years. So if you can see, we have done the calculation for the last sector, that is last category, year 7 to 10, whereby again the same formula, original cost minus scrap value multiplied by production units per year upon total production of its estimated life, which gives you 2 lakh minus 20,000, 1 lakh 80,000 multiplied by 10,000, that is production per year during that category, divided by 1 lakh 50,000, that is total production of that specific machine. Now, if you calculate this, you will get a depreciation of 12,000 per year. Make sure you do the nearest rounding off so that it becomes easy for do the calculation or rather for you to calculate it, it becomes easier. So make sure the rounding off is done in the correct way. So 12,000 per year is the depreciation. 
Now we'll go on to the last step, which will mark the closure of the sum. That means the book value of this specific machine at the end of its sixth year. Let's figure it out. So if you can see we have done the calculation for the last asked question as well that means book value of that specific machine at the end of sixth year what we have done is simply the cost minus depreciation that is the book value is carried forward for the next years the similar way that we done in we have did in machine r method let's figure it out how we have done it So for the first year, the total cost was 2 lakh minus depreciation 24,000, which gives you a total of 1 lakh 76,000. That is the book value of first year closing, which will be moved to the second year. That means the opening balance of second year will be 1 lakh 76,000. Out of which 24,000 will be subtracted as the depreciation for second year as well. The balance that is 1 lakh 52,000 will be left. This will be again moved to third year that is 1 lakh 52,000. And for the third year as well, we have the depreciation of 24,000 which is subtracted. So the balance that is left is 1 lakh 28,000 will be again moved to the fourth year which will be the opening balance of fourth year machine depreciation. However, from here the rate of depreciation rather the depreciation amount will start changing that is 18,000 per year. Once you subtract this 18,000 from the fourth year's opening start or opening machine cost, you have a balance of 1,10,000 which is again moved to the fifth year opening and out of which will again subtract 18,000 as a part of depreciation for fifth year as well. So you have a balance of 92,000 here which is the closing of fifth year and again it will be moved to sixth year opening out of which 18,000 has been subtracted. So the balance that is left at the end of that specific sixth year is 74,000. So this is the book value of that specific asset or that specific machine at the end of the sixth year. So I hope this video gave you a lot of clarity as to how to utilize the depreciation for this specific method under the similar category that we did in machine R rate method as well. So if there is any difference, the only difference between both these methods is that one in machine R rate method, we utilize the hours or number of hours they are working divided by the total hours for its estimated life and similarly here the production units that has been done for one specific year divided by the total production of its estimated life so this is the only difference rest everything remains the same so i hope this video gave you a lot of clarity about how to solve depletion or rather we can talk about depreciation on production unit method so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda